and I talk back. Niggas trying to flex. Tell me that I'm not so long in the back door. Don't even want to check. Alright guys, what's up? A little intro song there for you guys. Uh, if you wanted to know, it's uh, Dark Light by Knight Lavelle. Beautiful. They have uh, other songs. Really good. Check them out on Spotify and on um, YouTube. They're not sponsoring me nothing. Just really, really quality beats with uh, really meaningful, meaningful rap. So, take a little bit off the jewel here. and we'll, uh, We got a little story time. A little story time for you guys. Send it. Went all the way. I think air's on in here. Got the mango in. Uh, really like the mango. It it doesn't give me buzz. I don't get buzzed off the jewel anymore. Uh, it's just too much. I've had too much of it. Um, sporting the. Uh, the shirt, I got some whales on my pants, and some anchors. I don't know who it's by, I picked it up yesterday, Coles. I got some money, uh, I picked up some swim trunks, stuff like that for the summer. Uh, I got a, got Bonnaroo coming up, uh, working the gig on that. If you guys didn't know, I do production. So, um, I do production for sports, concerts, stuff like that. Um, Concerts, I'm a utility, so set up, take down the stage for sports. I do replay. I do, uh, I'll do grip stuff, so run on cable, stuff like that. It, it pays well. Um, I want to be able to uh, get up to doing really, really good um, editing stuff, um, trying to edit together sports clips for high up. I like putting music to things and uh, kind of like, you know, the, the Vine compilations, you know, where they'll they'll put the music to the Vine and sometimes it sounds really good, other times it doesn't. Well, I want to step it up and make it sound really good, edit stuff together, packages, stuff like that. That's what I want to do. Right now I do replay. I love doing replay because it takes a little bit of that. I can take a couple different angles and I can put them into a whole entire a replay and play them out and it'll go together so it'll be like setting up a shot from the key down pass and three-pointer I can have different angles of that showing ball going up angle of it going in whatever like you see on TV but that's not what this is about that's just what I want to do Um, story time today about the time that me and this chick we went back so behind one of my old houses there was this this gated off spot it said it was federal fence whatever they caught us a couple times and they're like hey look as long as you're not doing anything bad like I mean we're not gonna be completely pissed off but please don't be back here like we it's a liability if you guys get hurt well, we had theories about this place as kids. I mean, I, me personally, I didn't know as a kid. Like, I, I don't know. We were like 11 or something like that going back to this place. It, it was, it was like a water treatment facility or something. There was a lot of ponds back there with, uh, big, like, big, like, massive, um, like pipes running from them to other ponds and these big things. But, so the ponds were like here, and there was a gate, big gate all the way around. And uh, when we first moved in, they were like, oh, once a month, we might do a little bit of blasting, get some water out of the ground, whatever. Did not turn out to be what happened. They, they were bringing uh, soap from the lake, stuff like that. It was pollution, a whole bunch of nasty stuff. But we, we started going back there, and uh, me and my friends, we got parties back there. We'd throw big-ass parties. It was great because at night they'd be gone, and they but they would have these big spotlights, not like you know not like the like the prison like they shine on people, but like these big spotlights that would just light light the whole place up, and it was like day. So we go out there, and they would have these uh, kind of like quarries. It was a big quarry, 
and but it was this big cliff and in the summer times it would be like super dry but during the um during like may and april it would be like a lake back there and we never would do any cliff jumping stuff like that because there'd be big machinery all around and we didn't want to take a risk of like hitting our heads or something like that and the rocks were sharp i mean super sharp and they had these little crystals in them all over not like sellable crystal nothing like that um but there was this one day me and this girl went back and it was about 5 30 in the afternoon we, we knew that they left at 4 30 and this was like a couple weeks after they had caught us back there and they're like look you guys can't keep coming back here we have you on video doing stuff due to the fact that you're not of legal age to be like 18 stuff like that like i mean we're not going to send you to like prison we're going to send your parents to prison for this but like stop coming back well we as kids disregarded every rule always it never it, it, we just felt like rules didn't fucking apply which now as an adult i'm like shit that was retarded like we could have gotten in a lot of trouble but what's life if you're not having a little bit of fun, right? So, um, one day, me and this girl went back. She's my next-door neighbor. She is. <laughs> um, but no, I've known her forever. I would never date her. Um, we went back, and we're, we're, we go over to one of the ponds. We're just looking around, being kids. Um, and she steps off the side. She steps off the side and she starts just sliding down in the water. I'm like, oh shoot, like she's like, she's like, I'm stuck, I can't get out of here. And like she slowly keeps sliding down like quicksand, but not quicksand, like shit doesn't happen. Um, I mean, maybe at some places, but not where we live. Like, there's no So I'm like, shoot, what do I do? I'm like eleven years old. This girl's like slipping and sinking into the water. And so, like, I, like, run out, and she's like, where the hell are you going? I'm like, I'm trying to find something. Hold on. There was these big logs. I mean, at the time, like, I wasn't the biggest kid, but, like, I mean, I wasn't, like, weak. So I picked up these logs, and I, like, set them in the water, and she, like, pushed herself up onto them and, like, crawled. But she was, like, it was up to here at this point. Like, she was, like, stuck in there. And so she was muddy, like completely muddy. She, we couldn't walk back to the house like that. So we start running back and she's like, okay, all right, they're gonna know that we were back here if I'm completely muddy. So she's like, I'm gonna take this shirt off and these pants. And I'm sitting here at 11 years old thinking, oh, what? Oh, okay, like, oh, okay, like, fuck. And she runs back. And I'm running with her. And this is where shit, like, really hits the fan. Because I have her shirt in my hands, right? She's running with her pants. Luckily, she was wearing, like, a swimsuit under. But it didn't really look like a swim... If somebody would have seen us, they'd have been like, What the fuck were they doing? It, it was like, she had... I can't remember it was like... It was either red or black. But it's, I, it did not look like a swimsuit. It just looked like bra and panties. So we're running back, and she has these, like, like flip-flops, and she's, like, tripping all over the place. And we get – so the fence was, like, right behind my house, and she lived in front of me. <sighs> we start running. We, we're almost to the street, and we see her father driving. I'm in another jewel-ripped fucking – explain what's going through my fucking head at this point honestly I'm so confused um there's an ad that just popped up about uh, Nate420 how the fuck is he not banned by x code is like come on man come on that upsets me and that's one thing um are you guys having a snazzy day? Like, I got to keep that going. At this point, I feel obligated because Xcode is, like, not here anymore. Rip.
No, he's not dead. For all you people who just don't pay attention, heard about him before, and you're like, fuck, is he dead? No. <laughs> no. I would not. I would not be. I'd be crying. Or I'd, I'd, I'd cry for the rest of my life if he died now. Like, I mean, if he dies an old man, love you, man. But now? Oh, fuck. I don't know what I would do. So, um, again, she's running across the street in and, and a swimsuit that looks like brawn panties. And her dad is driving up the road in his big ass truck. I swear to God, this man is huge. Like, there's nothing that I would do. He'd shoot the fuck out of me. Like, he, he'd blow me away. She's running, spraying herself off with the fucking hose. She's muddy as shit. I have her fucking shirt in my hand. And he pulls in and whips out. And he's like, what are you guys doing? I'm like, oh, fuck me. And as I'm thinking, I'm like, oh, my God. This looks really, really, really bad. Like really, I mean, you. T- I mean, in the comments, tell me what 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 would be going through your brain. You're like, oh, I'm I'm fucked. Like, he's. I mean, yeah, he, he listened in the end. Like, let me get to that. He listened in the end, but at the beginning, he was like, "Come on, come on, at least put the clothes back on, right?" So, um. <laughs> And so we're getting out. She spraying herself off. Her dad gets out of the car, bolts out. He's like, what the fuck's going on? And I was like, well, and he was like, I, I honestly, I want to hear it. I want to hear what happened, but I'm afraid. And I was like, oh, God. Oh, dear. So I'm explaining to him, no, we were back in the woods. She got a little muddy. She was like, I can't, like, can't walk in this. Like, she was, it was like caked on like she had to get her clothes off it was bad like it was nasty shit and i explained it to her and to him and he was like hmm i swear to god this was the face he made i I wish i could i can visualize it in my brain but he was like "Hmm, right and i was like i swear to god ask her and she was like like (laughs) deer in the headlights I swear to God, we weren't doing anything bad. <laughs> and we were 11, too. So, like, I mean, the I mean, he thought, but, like, you know, like, he knew at the end. He was like, yeah, okay. But after that, I mean, we were pretty chill. He was like, there's no way you'd fuck my daughter. <laughs> well, that was the story. Everything worked out well. He's a great guy. Um, there's another story about him, too. I'll do it a later time. I might make it after this video, actually. So if you see this, then you'll know that I made it right after. All right, guys. Stay snazzy. Have a wonderful day. Um, just be yourself, man. Do You do you. The, the people out there, they might say ratchet-ass shit about you. They might say stupid shit about you. But you're you. No one can change who you are. Now, if you're doing something you know you're not supposed to be doing, if you're living a life that you know is, like, wrong, then you need to change. And you're the only one that can make yourself change. So, guys, I'll leave that with you. Have a great one. Peace.